person, Atlas. <laughs> and Aaron's also here. I was like, mirror drops sort of an alternative to a pump or a life straw what you can do is you take about eight to ten drops of each of these and you put it in the cap together you let it mix and sit there for five minutes you fill up a water bottle after I give it five minutes I've let my little chemical compound turn yellow I'll pour it in here I'll mix it up and uh, in 20 minutes the water will be potable, drinkable water. It's a good way to interact with your environment on hikes. That way you don't have to bring a ton of water with you. You can just drink what nature provides. I'll tell you if it tastes like shit, because it might. Part A, part B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We are humans, and we are here. Hello. Aaron thinks that she hears a bear right now, so I'm gonna try and hurry this up. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you hear her getting loud? We're out here in uh, the Olympic National Forest. The goal is to get to the certain spot towards the end where an old plane crash actually happened. There's an epic amount of life out here. Aaron's convinced that this whole time this black bear's been following us. Not sure how true that is. We've been extra loud just in case so he knows we're here and we don't accidentally sneak up on him and scare him. So now it's been five minutes and I'm gonna dump my aqua mirror drops into my bottle of water here. So the way this works is you want to get this yellow liquid kind of everywhere both in the water and then on the surface that your mouth is going to be drinking from. I'm going to pour it in make sure I get all the contents in there. Give it a good shake. I'm going to open the lid a little bit so that the remnants of any unfiltered uncleaned water in here also get some of those drops. So I want to see some water drops come out the top. Shake it up real good. Let that sit for 20 minutes and it's drinkable. It's gonna taste dang. Gonna be so good. Uh, we have not yet found the plane. We uh, we think we might have passed the, the spot where we needed to kind of go off the trail. We kept walking for another couple miles but we found this sick spot up here. It's beautiful. We got a little bed. I'm just marinating, looking at these glaciers. So, even though we haven't found the plane yet, not a whole lot to complain about. Complain? Oh. You're thinking about it too much, Doug. My boots are very slippery on that thing. We're at the mine. We passed it on the way here. Aaron goes, there's a huge bear cave and like fucking takes off. Turns out this is a little switchback trail that you had to get to from the original trail in order to go to where the plane crash is. Hopefully we will find this this plane after all. I know it's hard when you don't get the time. Seven miles so far, so it's probably gonna be a 12 mile round trip, but that's all right. We got that, let's dog. Moving forward, always on the go. I hope you take 
we're really close because there's some plain shrapnel. This stuff just crumbled. How big it is! It's like the scale of it. It's like a thousand of me. Atlas found a bunny. The poor little dude's running for his life. That bunny ran right under this plane. He said, "Me, he didn't give a shit. He's like, bye. I don't want Atlas. There are very sharp edges. It's so big in real life. Like this is the wheel I'm sitting on from." plane that crashed and it's like twice my size. There's a ton of wildlife all around us too. We've seen rabbits and chipmunks that all found this place of shelter. So I think if Atlas was going to live out here, he'd want to live by the plane so he could chase after the little rabbits. Isn't that right, buddy? You still look. Heading down. We've been going up for like all day. Now we get to go downhill, maybe do a little trail running if I don't die on this part. We can go there, but I'm gonna need for like chicken. Bruh. Spirits got low for a little bit. They're high again now, but they were low for a little bit there. Hopefully I can put the video in, but this girl was running down the mountain. We were having a great time. Atlas, Fatless was running through the woods. All of a sudden I hear thunk. Aaron just eats shit. Just absolutely right on her face. Uh-oh. Right on her dumb piece. And she had her video up the whole time. So I walk up and the video is still rolling. So I think it's gonna be pretty funny. But we're happy again. She's okay, kinda. She looks like Moses. She's leading the Israelites as we speak. The Israelites are hungry. A day full of ups, a day full of downs. Everything in between. Finally made it out. Actually an awesome day overall. It's time to eat some motherfucking food. Thanks for checking out Wild Ride. If you like the content, please subscribe down below. Check us out at wild underscore ride on Instagram. See you guys. Stay wild.